So I thought we were just going to check out the new pack in Master Duel a little bit and call it a day. Turns out it's a little bit more exciting than that because, um, I mean, Dia Bellstar was announced. But what wasn't announced is the fact that they threw freaking Populous in there as well, or Poplar rather. So what we're going to do today, we're going to take a look at Snake Eye combos, uh, which are both relevant for Master Duel and the TCG. Uh, I think that's the baseline of the deck. Can we go with only two Dia Bell Stars? You can. However, I think without Bonfire in the game, you want the consistency from the extra Dia Bell Star. I'm pretty sure. We can swap around the non-engine, but for now, I think this, this looks about right. I'm going to keep it 100 with you guys. The Snake Eye deck is probably the most healthy thing in, in the game right now. Everything else before Snake guys it's all toxic af right now that's probably why they released it so soon because they know the meta is right now without it even branded not nah, branded's fine branded is just mid af they could have dropped Chimera and Unchained first. I mean, yeah, you're not wrong. They should drop everything, in my opinion. Like, it'd be, it'd be a better place in general, but for some reason, they are not doing that. I think you underestimate Branded a little. I know there's probably like a thousand people in here that think that. There's like roughly a thousand Brandies in here that are always mad when I say I don't like Branded. Yeah, maybe I'm underestimating it. Maybe it's, maybe it's not mid AF. Maybe it's just mid. You're right. It's okay. They didn't search with Poplar. What is that about? Do they only play the one spell? There's no way that's your game plan. Maybe they play only one copy of the field spell and have it. The scary thing is they're going for just the one card combo with wanted. Oh, is that scary? That has to be good for me because it means they have a lot of bad cards in their deck. That can't possibly be bad for me. What's the point? What's the synergy between these two? Do you like send the fire monster? No, you send Arabesque. Bounce Ash back to hand. You think it pivots into Isolt somehow, or what? What is that? Farmer? Okay. Why not Sunlight Wolf? I don't have a target for Hida anyways. Maybe you don't even play Sunlight Wolf? I guess. Okay, now they search. They might actually only play the one target, and now they have a target because they put it back with Wanted. They might not have a different one, but... Okay. Is Silent Force added? No, uh, they didn't add anything off Phantom Nightmare. Like, they didn't add Voiceless Voice or anything else. They didn't even add... There's a lot of stuff before Phantom Nightmare that isn't even out yet. It's just the Snake Eye stuff, pretty much. Okay, so they just put an Oak back there. Nothing... I mean, this is just worse than the pure Snake Eye combo, no? What do I know from their hand? They have original Sinful Spoils, and they have the Mikanko Equip spell that summons from the graveyard. And they have returned an Ash back to the hand. Sick. Draw an Ash. Phenomenal. Um, Did they search the Mikanko trap? No. No, they didn't. So people in chat have been saying, like, when I said um, Snake Eye might be the most healthy thing about the, the format, people said, like, how is this healthy? I think it's only unhealthy if you're playing against decks of a lower power level. Like, you're right, this deck absolutely raises the power level in Yu-Gi-Oh! But if both players operate at the same power level, I don't think it's unfair. Like, I think the mirror match is much more interactive than any of the gameplay we would ever see from Super Heavy Samurai or Math Mech, for example. Which, I can understand frustration with power creep, but that does not necessarily make the games that are being played bad. It might be a tier zero deck and you can think of tier zero whatever you want, but it's not bad Yu-Gi-Oh that's being played. Those are two different arguments. It's completely fine to be opposed to tier zero meta games. That's not the discussion that I'm trying to make. Okay, they hard drew this. 
That was the only unknown card in the hand. So it is what it is, I guess. It's very annoying. They just take it. You know what I can do? I can th theoretically summon their Snake Eye Oak with my Flamberge if I can ever get that far. We know there's no more disruption from the hand, which is good to know. There's one Promethean pop, right? That's pretty much all there is to worry about. I already have the spell, so I might as well set Wanted, I think. Don't see a reason to grab a duplicate. I guess it tells them a card in my hand, but I can live with that. Because Wanted might end up being important in the long run. It's Hida or Formula. But the problem with Formula is that it doesn't force anything. I think it's Hida. Uh, yeah, you're right about that smooth. The Snake Eye deck is incredibly powerful, no no doubt about it. I don't think that's necessarily a terrible thing. Okay, they're gonna pop the Ash to make the equip fall off so that they can re-equip it. That doesn't make sense. Yep. But this lets me... Kita and Temple. Put Arabesque back to hand, sure. Oh, they take my Flamberge away. Okay. Have I normal summoned? I'm not sure. I think I normal summoned Jet. Yeah, okay. Okay, which of these has activated an effect this turn? Not many. Do I have? I have Jet Synchron, Sinful Spoil. Formula, or is it just summon Flamberge? Oh, time is running low. We might lose this on timer. I think we, I think this is winnable had I played it faster. Oh, we lose to follow up because I don't have time to set anything up. Oh, it's so sad, man. We would actually be winning this game. Dude, that was a good game. Like, that is why the Snake Eye deck is not comparable to something like Super Heavy Samurai or Math Mech. They did the full combo pretty much, and it, it, it actually ended up being a, a good game. It's just a matter of, I think if I get more used to the deck and play this stuff faster, I think we get there. That was our game to win, 100%. Dude, Kurikara is glued to my hand. Okay, what is this? Labyrinth? Could be Labyrinth. Okay, Fect Veiler is not bad there. It's actually pretty good. I'm thinking about making Link Karibo, because then I can dodge Imperm with Populous. Or Oak, whichever I want to go for. Don't know yet, haven't decided. Oak or Poplar? I mean, Oak, bring back Ash, and then what? Doesn't really do much. I mean, on the other hand, Poplar, Field Spell also doesn't do that much and then we zeus i mean there's three back row i think we have to be thinking long term here because i don't think we're going to be able to win this turn unless the back row is absolutely nothing in which case we win either way and i think in the long term getting the field spell is pretty good oh the the link rebo is 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 clutch here i'm glad i made that giga five head Never mind. I mean, it's still correct. We get two back row instead of one. It still remains the right play. And we keep the body as well. 
it's okay because that that card uh the called by we basically baited for free we got a free link rebo body and in future turns we don't have to deal with that called by anymore so it's still good i don't know if this means it's labyrinth or not it could be anything at this point it could just be anything else that breaks we'll see Ah, <laughs> uh, i mean the the spell just gets us out of here never mind oh it's a mirror match yeah can't do anything about that i think we're okay i mean we have a lot of cards over them and they break so if i was using nightmare phoenix it'd be pretty insane here because i could discard flamberge for it So Jet into Promethean Princess probably baits more back row. That's okay. Do I discard Flamberge? I can't use its effect, but I can bring it back with Promethean if it goes through. Probably okay. It's another called by. Yep, well. We have in significantly increased the amount of damage we're doing each turn, so that's a positive. Two called by cross out out of the way. Our impermanent ash are pretty much guaranteed to resolve. So that's good. Duster. All right. The imperm is no longer guaranteed to resolve. I lied. Dude, what is this game? I don't want to normal summon my ash. It's my last hand trap. We keep going, man. It's just two tier zero decks. Uh going at each other you know guys being dudes <laughs> if they have talents it's a it's a big deal but i have to do this they could have talents is it's not unlikely for it to be talents it could also just be a flam burst or some shit like that wait oh they can put the banished one back i forgot that okay that's bad okay that should get us there. That's multiple pushes. That should finally do it. Alongside the talents as well. Yeah, the Imperm is good here, but we still get Promethean. Oh no, actually, we still have that Link Karibo from earlier. It's broken. Dude, they have drawn almost entirely non-engine. What a game, man. That has to be one of the weirdest games I've played in such a long time. In such a long time. Is it Flamberge? It's it has to be Flamberge, right? No oh Nibiru, okay. <laughs> Only non-engine, dude. Only non-engine. Nothing else. I'ma beat you with small ass snake eye monsters. Let's go. Boom. This. This. <laughs> I haven't been using Birch a single time. Maybe you don't need it. Alright, let's see. We're gonna end it how it started. With a Link Rebo swinging at your face. Let's go. Boom. <laughs> check deck i mean it was just snake eye they probably just didn't play that many starter cards that may have been the issue okay they only had two wanted they only played two poplar two of this they only played two witches yeah that's what i keep telling you guys you need more of these otherwise you're not gonna open them consistently enough are you still making snake eye runic i wanted to build it for the tcg tomorrow i feel like it's more interesting for the tcg it's definitely gonna happen The only thing that I've already kind of figured out, I don't think it can be a Jet Synchron version. I'm in a little bit of a dire situation here. What the hell do you Ash against Rescue Ace when they don't have Emergency? Like, do I care about this freaking Rescue Ace spell that they're adding? I feel like I don't. Is Airlifter even one card combo? Surely I just wait for the Sinful thingy. Oh. <laughs> yep.
I mean, I already have it. I don't need to cult by that. The only annoying thing is like, I want to cult by Ash Blossom, but obviously I have two of my own Ash Blossoms, which would be somewhat annoying. The worst case scenario is they have Ash and Maxi. Because, actually, no, it's not. That's the best case scenario. I changed my mind. Please have Maxi. Now. God damn it. Okay, we go for Snake Eye Ash. Don't Maxi me now, please. That would be... That is way too smart! That's not fair. That's way too smart. That's messed up. I have to kill them. I have to try and kill them. What the hell am I doing? Both my hand traps are dead next turn. <laughs> sniper. <laughs> Don't call him a sniper only because they made one correct play, chat. <laughs> that does not necessarily mean they're sniping. I mean, yeah, we have to no, we have to we have to push through it. I can't do anything. No, they have probably more veilers in the deck, but like what am I going to do? Oh god damn. Okay. So how do we put 8k onto the field? What would that be? Promethean, Flamberge, that's 57. Uh, we need like 23 on top. Celine is on the table. Ah, one is already in the graveyard. I should have put another. Summon them and attack just in case. Oh, right. They are kind of big. No, man. That's way too early, by the way. Come on, impulse. I'm molding. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Now it's looking kind of dire. Deck him out. That's 23 more. Are you listening to what you're saying? How big is Amblo Whale? 3k. Amblo Whale double kills the Nibiru. If I had made Link Karibo, it was enough attributes. Damn. I know it would be Flamberge outs one and then access code pops three, but now access code only pops two. No, oh, they got more. My bad. I don't think it's doable. <laughs> How many cards? 13 only. A Only 13. Dude, double HQ? Roll yourself now. I hate you. Wait, take? What do you want with that? Dude, I wish I had a little more time. <laughs> Wait, what, what, did, what have they cooked? What kind of disaster has happened? <laughs> what? Yo! How is this winnable? Somehow. Maybe it's not. I don't know, man. Eta. Played into Nib. This is criminal. This is actually this this that was crazy. That was crazy. Nah. 
Nah. They have 13 cards in hand. Didn't they open Ash, Valor, Maxi? They play one Valor, two Ash. They had one nib somewhere in there. <laughs> Dude, they playing cross out ratios without cross out. I'm just realizing. Oh, man. <laughs>